A hero's welcome for Karoo Trailblazers who represented the province and South Africa in North Africa. The young science enthusiasts say the international robotics competition was no walk in the park. Despite returning home empty-handed, the group says the experience is definitely bigger than the disappointment of not winning. The competition was very nice. I get to learn from other countries. I ate some of them food. It was very nice. The competition experience to me was fine because it was great being in another country, but also stressful of, of competing against these other teams that are more stronger and more smarter than us. The competition was nice. Um, my experience was um, there is some kinds of things in life that you need to discover and sometimes you have to dream big to go big. Premier Zamani Sol says Carnarvon High School is one of the hundred schools across the province that currently offers robotics and coding. These include 15 primary schools. We are doing major strides. We've already registered major strides with regard to ensuring that we introduce robotics and coding to children at a very early age so that they can grow up and be part and parcel of this fourth, fourth, fourth industrial revolution. Education MEC Zoli Lemonaka Ali says they will push to have more children take up mathematics and science subjects. Now we are starting this program because we want to break the stigma of these complications around mathematics and physical science. We want our learners to be exposed and be able to participate at higher cognitive levels. So what we have done now, these schools have been piloted we are still finalizing the curriculum, the syllabus of coding and robotics in the province, but we are very confident that with those subjects, our children will be exposed to much higher and important areas in the future. The team of seven says they will return to the drawing board, re-strategize and come back stronger for the next competitions. Margaret Mutibi, SABC News, Kimberley.